Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to today's episode of Game Poke, the show where we cover gaming related topics and talk a load of old bollocks. And today's bollocks is about the master system again. Yes! Mm! But it's a topic that a lot of people have covered and I didn't want to. Just because every fuck has done it. Master system art that sucks. Yes, I know the master system art is kind of hit and miss. Mostly miss, but that's just it. That's just the way it is. But I thought I can cover this topic and do a little twist on it that people. I looked around and I haven't seen many people that have done it in the right way. I say the right way, the way I want to do. So let's get into it. We're going to look at a Master System game that was released over here and in Japan, America. Probably not, it, it doesn't really matter because the artwork would have been the same here and in America anyway, so fuck it. But we're gonna look at the differences in the artwork because in Japan, fucking hell, in Japan, the artwork style was very different for the covers of their games. Whether you're looking at the Sega Mark III or when they converted it into their own master system that looked pretty much the same as the thing we have over here, their artwork for their game cases was very different. And what really baffles me is in Japan, their game cases were cardboard. Whatever, they got the great art, but they got cardboard. So, what would you prefer? A plastic case to put your game in, or good artwork, but it's a fucking box? Preservationist me would go for the plastic, but at the same time, I'm gutted that our art over here is kind of hit and miss. But anyway, let's go into it, and we'll go with the most infamous of shitty looking Master System artwork. Pro Wrestler, just look at this fucking artwork. What is even happening? All right, it's a wrestling game, we clearly get that. But the guy's head has been cut off and he's holding it in his arms. Is this a wrestling game or is it the 8-bit version of Sleepy Hollow? No one knows what the fuck is going on here. No one knows what was going through the mind of the dumb bastard who got the job of assigning artwork to the fucking game. The game itself doesn't really matter. We're not here to talk about gameplay and all that shit today. We're not going into that. We're just going into the artwork. This is some of the worst art on the Master System. Is it some of the worst artwork for a game out there? No, but it is infamous. It's like saying E.T. is the worst game ever. It's not, but it's like famous for being that, for being known as that. Whereas this is famous, infamous, whatever you want to say, for being one of the shittiest art covers ever. It's not, but we all know it, and we can all agree, it's very shit. It's bad. But what did it look like in Japan? That's what we're about to go for. You ready? Here we go. Just look at the fucking thing. There's actual wrestling here. There's no severed heads. We can tell this is a wrestling game without even being able to read the fucking cover. Obviously, it's not called Pro Wrestler in Japan. It's called something else. Senkang Ding Dang What's It? I don't know. But look at all the action that's happening here. This artwork makes the game look fun. A guy's being pinned down. He's losing. Another guy's jumped in the air and kicked some fucker in the face. The crowd looks like it gives a shit. It's a very colourful piece of artwork. It's just so colourful. I mean, look at the difference. We had a white grid with a... Head cut off matey holding his head because reasons. Reasons that no one fucking knows. And now we've got little chibi guys kicking the shit out of each other. It's just, it's just fucking hell. Japan knew what they were doing. We didn't have a goddamn clue. I reckon over here we either had one hell of a tight budget or the guy that was paid was the laziest dickhead ever and just didn't give a shit about games or art or he just couldn't fucking draw. But stick men beating the shit out of each other would have been better than what we actually got. Because what Japan got was awesome. And that's the first of the five games we're going to mention today. So what's the next one? It's Zillion. Now, Zillion is a great game in the Master System library. Not everyone's got a chance to play it. I know that. But it is a great game. Trust me. But if you've never played it and you've never seen it, never seen any gameplay, never seen anything like that, would you know what the fuck is going on? By looking at the cover. No, you wouldn't, would you? Because it looks like a microwave. I mean, you would think this is a cooking game. How to get your Chicago Town pizza to cook in less than a minute. 
Well, you don't because that's how you get food poisoning. But here is a fuck knows what. It looks like a microwave. It doesn't tell us anything about the fucking game. I know you could say it's not a microwave, it's a computer. It doesn't look like anything, mate. It's a box with some little knobby buttons. It looks like a fucking microwave. It looks shit. All right, let's just focus for a minute. This looks shit. Now, Zillion even had some anime stuff going on in Japan with the Sega Light Phaser. So you could advertise the shit out of this and have it on the front cover. But we don't, we get a microwave. So what did Japan get? Well, I'll tell you what Japan got. Japan got it right. Old school anime. There's the Sega Light Phaser, even though, in case you didn't realize, Zillion is not a Light Phaser game. It's not. It's just in the anime, there's a lot of shooting. In the game, it's got run and gun shooting elements to it. So they thought, fuck it, let's advertise our own gun in there. Why not? I think it's a great idea. It really is. And it's really well done within the art here. It's just got the characters, the action, it says a lot about the game, about what's in store for you as a player, rather than a fucking microwave! So in other words, once again, Japan got it right, and we got it shite. Zillion. Japan, yes. UK, no. Good game, though. No. You should totally try it. Zillion 2, nah, we'll give that one a miss. That's a very yes or no kind of game. Next is My Hero. Now, as you can see, the artwork here is kind of crap. I mean, a fist is coming out of nowhere, punching a punk in the face. Well, that kind of says a bit about what you got in store for you, maybe. There's fighting and punching the punks. And... Yeah, well, it does a better job of saying what's happening in the game than Zillion's microwave, but it's, it's kind of crap, isn't it? I mean, it's very, mm, very meh, very fucking lazy. There's not a lot you can say about it because there's nothing interesting about it. But what about the Japanese one? Well, before we get on with it, um, we'll say at a tough time finding the Japanese artwork for this one. Maybe the game's kind of rare out there. Maybe that's the reason. Don't know. But I did find a picture of the Sega card, and I can bring that up so you will still see what is the artwork on the box because the art from the box is the art that's on the card. So it's the same thing. It's the exact same thing. So here we go. Once again, just like the last game, we get some awesome old school anime fighting shit. There's the punk that we saw punched in the face earlier, but now, hey, giant fucking high kick. There's a woman in the background being held in distress. Ah, help me and shit. There's an awesome sunset giving you the impression of the world the game is based in. All in all, it's very colorful. It's very cool. I like that. This is great artwork rather than the, you know, fucking. UK shit that we got, it's just poo. I mean, it is, it's just bad. None of it's fucking good at all. Japanese, they got it right. I don't have my hero in my collection yet. I don't know why, I just haven't got around to getting that one. It's not a particularly expensive game. I just haven't got around to getting it. But I do know it's not a good game. So whatever artwork you get, doesn't really fucking matter because the game is still balls, apparently. Again, haven't played it. Can only say what is the world's opinion the world that has played it doesn't like it and they say you die a lot in the game apparently one day i'll get it and i'll be able to tell you what i honestly think about it but for right now i will say again japanese artwork really good what we got no just no but now we're gonna go on to the one that bugs me the most all right get ready for Action Fighter. This is not the last game we're gonna talk about, but it is the one that bugs me the most. I mean, just fucking look at it. What's happening here? I, I mean, it's called Action Fighter. Do you see anywhere on the front fucking action or fucking fighting? No. What you see at first impression is a magnifying glass. But then you think, no. That doesn't make any sense. Why would I be looking at a magnifying glass at a road? It's not a magnifying glass. It's a mirror for a motorcycle. You see any fucking action in that? You see any fighting in that? No. Because you saw a fucking magnifying glass. 
And then you had to go, oh, no, wait, no, it ain't, it's that. Because it isn't very clear as to what it's supposed to be. But then when you get round that in your brain, then you get to the point of realising, what has this got to do with fucking anything? It's nothing. It's shit. The pro wrestling thing was bad. But, alright. Guy's head was cut off, but he's still a wrestler. Action fighter. You've only got to give us action and fighting. We got a fuck knows what, but it says nothing. Gives no impression to the game. Except maybe you think, maybe I'm on a motorcycle in the game. Maybe that's it. Maybe that's what this game's about. But it's only a maybe. And it's a vague maybe. So let's see what Japan had. Well, that's a bit fucking different, isn't it? Sports cars. Explosions. Skyscrapers. Military helicopters with rockets. Hence the explosions. And what appears to be a car crash. In other words, there's action. There's fighting. The cover gives you, as the player, an idea of what's in store when you play this game. When you buy this game, you have a clue as to what you're going to get when you get home and plug the fucking thing in. Instead of a magnifying glass, that's not a magnifying glass. That has fuck all to do with action or fighting. This is art. This is a front cover for a video game that is art. What we got is shit. Enough said, really. I could go absolutely mad on this one. It bugs me more than any other Master System game cover just because Japan got it so perfectly right and asked this dog shit. It's got nothing to do with anything. What were they thinking? I know that's a James Rolfe thing, but honestly, what were they thinking? And now on to the last game. Alex Kidd in Miracle World. Everyone's played this game. Not everyone's played the cartridge version though. That's why I wanted to cover this, because most people played it uh, with the one that was built into the Master System 2. So of course you didn't get the cartridge. You didn't get the case. <sighs> this is the case. Is Alex Kidd blonde? No. Is his hand that colour when he punches shit? No. Did the artist have a fucking clue who Alex Kidd was? before he coloured this in. No, I honestly think the bastard was either colourblind or he was going off of the artwork in the Master System game booklet, which is of course blue and white. And the guy just thought he must be blonde. It's just, there's no research. Can you imagine if you were playing the Sonic the Hedgehog game, right? And the front cover is Sonic, but he's green. Like the original Sonic games, I know there's other Sega characters and hedgehogs and shit and they're green, but whatever, that doesn't matter. What I'm saying is, mascot, and you've got the colours wrong. It infuriates me because it's just, you didn't even fucking try. But Japan, look at what they got. Everything in this front cover is related to the fucking game. For one thing, Alex Kidd's the right bloody hair colour and everything about him looks like Alex Kidd. They even got the giant ears. He's punching that two-fingered fuck you have to do yanking with. There's that sodding bear in the background that, let's face it, everybody hates him. There's the bloody frog from level one. There's the main baddie yanking the great. There's tons of colour within this artwork. This says everything about the game. It is so descriptive to what is in store for you as the player. Rather than a guy with the wrong fucking hair colour punching a load of old nothing. Japan knew what they were doing with the artwork. Fucking hell, we didn't have a clue over here, did we? So there you go to show. That's why I wanted to do this video today, because so many people have done videos on Master System Art that shit. Yes, there's a lot that is shit. Look at the Japanese, though. Right? They knew what they were doing. 
Why has no one really bothered doing this before? I'm sure people have done this video before where it's like, released in Japan was good, released over here wasn't. I mean, that's what this is. So obviously someone's done it before because there's nothing new on YouTube anymore. But I don't understand why people don't just think to focus on that. Comparisons. It's so easy to say this is shit, but it takes a bit more effort to go, yes, this is shit. But if you look over here, here's what we could have had because someone else did have. There you are. I hope you enjoyed today's video about me being a rambly prick. It's no different to every other video I've done, which means if you enjoyed it, then there's plenty more in store for you. All you have to do is click like, comment, subscribe, and there's a bell. I honestly don't know what that does. I don't think it does anything, but yeah, you ding dong, have a go. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.